The FBI is doing a little probation, a little probing action on the misconduct allegations against one of our favorite mayors in the United States, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Enyard. Yeah, she's the one that kind of looks like uh, Nino Brown from New Jack City. Literally, she dressed up like that. She bars people from her meetings, all kinds of craziness. Let's jump on in here. What's going on with the FBI? Let's get into it. Here we go. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. All the stuff that y'all did to get people to come to our community, to just diss and down our community, shame on y'all. Because when I want to attack and take any of y'all seats, I run. I run for the seat. I don't do smear campaigns. I don't do all this mess. It's nonsense. Because at the end of the day, we still got to live in this village. Oh, well, well, y'all don't live in the village, but we still got to live in the village. Well, I mean, you might be living in, I don't know, prison. The FBI keeps doing its little probe action. That could happen. That could happen. So what is she being investigated for? Oh, she's, you know, it's not just, uh, she, she's got this, uh, let's watch this video. This is a really quick one as well. This one's pretty entertaining too. To want to tell you about the Illinois Attorney General's office now ordering a charity run uh, by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard to stop soliciting donations. Mm. Mm. The charity called Tiffany Henyard Cares failed to register with the Attorney General's office or disclose mm. how much money it raised mm. and how the money is being spent. Fox 32 first raised questions. She about is doing a little slow mo dance Our as you do. With the Illinois Answers Project, found she was using public employees and taxpayer dollars to support the charity, including a $10,000 donation from Thornton Township, where she is supervisor. The AG's office says it is evaluating further action against the charity to protect donors and enforce state laws about charitable giving. Mm. So she's getting investigated by the FBI. She's got a, she's got issues with funds that she spent. She went to Vegas. She didn't exactly own up to that. She's got all kinds of stuff going the wrong direction. There's new information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial, controversial Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard. Uh, Dalton is located almost due south of Chicago. Is it like 45 minutes? Is it half an hour? I forget how, how far it is, but it's, you know, suburban Chicago, right? Fox 32 has been reporting for nearly two years, two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as mayor and supervisor. She has been accused of all kinds of stuff and she's basically just pushed it back off and said, yeah, you guys are, you guys are hammering on number one, a woman, but a black woman, a black woman in power. You guys just all need to back off. We heard her little speech there. She has literally boxed out people from the community meetings. In her most recent one, she told everybody to go to the basement. She had, she had uh, basically some of her henchmen telling people, yeah, the meeting's down in the basement. And she held the meeting upstairs super quick with her personnel. And then before, you know, the public could have any type of input on the meeting, meeting was overdone. I mean, that's how you do it right there. You just, you hold a public meeting and it's not public. And, and you just tell, oh, you go downstairs, go downstairs. It's fine. I'll see you in a second. See you in a minute. All right, guys, let's hustle through the, let's hustle through our business today because we got to be able to record. We had a meeting and uh, we don't want those pesky public people. Oh, they just ruined my day. So we can't have them at the meeting. We're just going to do our own thing here. Nobody will find out. National media covers it. Guys like me cover it. Now we've learned, Fox has learned from multiple sources that federal agents are interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. At some point in time, something here is going to stick. It just is. Is with as blatant as this young lady is, I think, with her leadership style. When you are coming out looking like Nino Brown, do I have that? I believe I do. 
I believe I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Right here. Off to the right. Okay. No. Upper right hand corner, right there. If that doesn't look, I mean, that is literally Nino Brown there from New Jack City, one of the greatest movies ever. Pokey, it's Chris Rock. I mean, that's a strong, strong movie. I, I don't have a problem with him because that's a that's a character being played by an actor, Wesley Snipes. Unfortunately, over here, yes, this this is Tiffany. This is our this is our illustrious mayor here, and that that I mean. Credit for style. She came in with the same color. She's got the same gold chain. You got the same whole thing going on. So there's that, right? <laughs> You've got that going on. Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says that he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner said the FBI agents took his allegations seriously. Yes. Very serious. Very. Gardner said that he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police. These are the allegations that the FBI is looking into. It is alleged, allegedly, Tiffany is sending out her henchmen and using the cops in Dalton to basically hammer on people that aren't donating to her cause, to her election, to her political whatever it is. Watched another video with Tiffany, and she was basically railing on her constituents as to why there was so much graffiti and the playground looked the way that it did. It didn't look terrible, but it just looked like kind of a rough inner city urban playground, you know, something you'd see over in Seattle all day long, where those taggers just think, ah, this is art. And it's not, it's just graffiti and it looks horrible and it makes a city look literally like New Jack City. So remember that crazy scene they had where the everybody was kind of naked and they're running around with hair nets and um, <laughs> they were sorting out the, the crack cocaine. Nobody could wear clothes because you might hide some crack on you somewhere that, that uh, Nino didn't want you to. Yeah, wild movie. And it was about, you know, super high rises, the massive complexes in Chicago and um, how the drug trade basically took off in the 80s. Some wild stuff. So Gardner, he's the guy that's saying, hey, my business is being harassed. It's being raided and shut down by Dalton police. Gardner believes it's retaliation after he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. You don't pay, you don't play. Your business shut down. I've read businesses are saying we're not getting our license renewal because we're not playing on the same you know team as our current illustrious Tiffany Henyard, <laughs> Dalton Mayor. I talked to a couple of agents and I explained to them what's going on, Gardner said. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they were investigating and they would be in touch with me. We'll get back to you. You don't need to get back to us. We'll reach out. We'll touch you. Gardner is one of the six people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI. So initially, I wasn't going to run this story because it, it seemed like it was a little bit leading. Is there really an investigation going on? Well, if you've got six individuals that say they've been targeted and they have talked to the FBI, that's an investigation one way or the other. Whether it's formal, whether it's informal, that's an investigation. They are poking around, right? They range from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have we got going on there? We've also learned the FBI has used electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Oof. Oof. Wow. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips to Las Vegas, flying first class. Huh. What is up with these politicians or district attorneys? What was it? A district attorney, an attorney general, one of the Trump cases, Fannie Willis. You know, I'm going to take some money out of my, you know, I got this whole box of cash at home and sometimes I take cash out. My dad told me that it's a really good idea to have a lot of cash at home. So when you get robbed, you know, the thieves just leave you alone to take your thousands of dollars. No, they didn't say that part, but she literally went, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that whole story is just absolutely nuts out. It's crazy. And I took some cash out of my campaign. I repaid a little bit of it back. And you're like, how did you not know, like this individual, Tiffany Henyard, how do you not know you're going to get busted for appropriating funds from your campaign to doing something like going to Vegas and flying first class? I mean, you're going to get hammered on at some point in time. You have enough exposure like that. Here we are getting probed by the FBI, right? So they've also inquired about hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for Henyard's personal security detail for alleged use of public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit and the holding up of licenses to certain businesses. She is a straight up gangster. In 2024, she is a political gangster, right? I mean, you see that any other way? I don't. It's like, all right, okay. Yeah. What are you doing for your community? And she's not letting people into meetings and just this litany, and then she's berating people in town meetings. That's when they actually get to attend. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. I've heard rumors that they say, hey, I'm on the wrong team, Wood said. Wood has not talked to the FBI, but he believes he can't get Wood's Kitchen approval, that's his restaurant, approved because he has provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. Yeah, people taking sides here. Yeah, people taking sides. This is a a good old-fashioned political shenanigans, aren't they? I mean, you know, you used to hear about this kind of thing, but to have it actually going on and by a female? I don't know. I find it kind of entertaining. I don't live in Dalton, so I'm like, yeah, what do I care? I live in Bellevue. I live thousands of miles away. It doesn't matter to me. But the poor people in Dalton, how do you think they're, how do you think that's going? They did vote her in though. This is who you wanted. And now they're like, I I didn't know we're getting a female Nino Brown. I I didn't know that. (laughs) Well, (laughs) you get what you pay for and you've got this young lady. Will any of these charges stick? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. But it sure is fun following the story, isn't it? I think I've been targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people, Wood said. The trustees. I've cooked for the trustees. You're a bad man because you are opposing Tiffany Henyard. I mean, she looked just like Nino Brown in her, her outfit, in her dark outfit. She had the hat, she had the gold necklace. Gangster. It's gangsters. In a lawsuit filed by the owner of a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges that their business license has been held up because of George's Towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. The Board of Trustees and I have repeatedly questioned the mayor's office on her use of public funds. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. I love it when they use big fancy words to just say, hey, tell us what you're doing. What are you spending our money on? I don't worry about it. Yeah. First class to Vegas. I mean, that's pretty normal, right? I mean, that's, that's how Nino Brown would roll. That's how I roll on your dime. The FBI has said it's policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or non existence of any investigation that may be occurring. I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of the FBI probing Tiffany Henyard. Now they're doing it, right? They're doing it. She she has she has put out such a massive as herself as a massive target. She might as well just say, hey, come get me. She had one interview, and I've rolled that tape before, where the interviewer, an old white dude, probably my age, he's like, um, did did you go to Vegas? And she literally looks off to the side, like, who are you looking for? Who are you looking for to answer that question for you? You know, she she literally, not just a, one of these numbers, you know, where you just move your eyes to see if there's somebody over there, like looking looking for your mom to give you a hint on what to say. Is my dad over there? Can I catch his eye and figure out what I should say here? Dad will know what to say, right? She literally did one of these numbers. She, she looks over, like, who are you looking at? Because we know you're about to lie. And then she didn't even lie. She just basically 
didn't answer the question. It was classic wannabe political, you know, mayor, but she doesn't have she doesn't have the sophistication to get past an average middle aged dude who's asking a very basic news question. Were you in Vegas? Oh. Uh, and then she answered it by saying, Well, I paid for it. Well, okay, all right. Did you fly first class? I'm not going to answer that. This interview is over. <laughs> you know, it's one of those numbers. I answered your question. No, you didn't. You dodged it. She's got a lot of that type of stuff out there. And, you know, eventually it's going to backfire on her. And that is where we sit, is with this kind of backfiring. A public relations firm responded on behalf of Henyard, saying Mayor Tiffany Henyard and the village of Dalton have not received any subpoenas and have not been contacted by the FBI or any other law enforcement agency. Yet. That would be the big kicker, right? Yet. Hasn't been reached out to, hasn't been probed for information yet. It's a coming, especially with the, what is it, CARES, the Tiffany A. Henyard CARES Foundation. I, I, I don't know if you'd say that she cares for the community much. I'd say that she cares for herself. Flying first class, whooping it up in Vegas, kind of denying that any of that stuff's going on, not letting people in her community that may not have voted for her have licensing for their businesses. You know, the FBI is not going to look at that all that favorably, right? That may not go the direction that she's hoping that it will go. An investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Mm-mm. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, your, very serious. your concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Uh, Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police, he believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored mm. by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to... Um, a couple of agents, and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six. You going to believe that guy? Or are you going to believe the Nino Brown female wannabe? Know what I mean? people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI, ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard r rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business Horrible. license for his restaurant for nearly a year. <laughs> While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. You know, I had the trustees. The trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a God, lawsuit a filed man. by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. Mm. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. 
We reached out to the FBI, which said it is policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or non-existence of any investigation that may be occurring. A public relations firm responded on behalf of the mayor, saying neither Henyard or the village of Dalton had received any subpoenas or been contacted by the FBI or any other law enforcement agency. Don- there you go. So what are you, what are we left to believe after this? Yeah, there's some, some fishies going on, right? Which we knew already, but the fact that the FBI is involved, hmm, yeah, you might have, uh, you might have something coming down. I would say the odds of something actually coming to fruition as far as charges, less than 50-50. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. I have no idea. But, you know, when I, when I research these stories, I'm like, all right, what's the long-term chance that this is going to keep on going, that it's going to keep on, that this keeps on going? And I'm like, eh, less than 50-50, but it, we've got such history of these stories coming out. And she did what? What is she doing? She's talking transparency while she's spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on just ridiculousness. Literally, if a gangster took over the mayor's office, this is what it would look like. You know, all right, you guys are all on my detail as far as police and security. And you know, who's after her that she needs that much security, right? Who is after her? Is this, is this just some kind of, does she have some kind of neurological issue with, I'm much more important than I think I am, but therefore I got to have all this coverage or do people genuinely just not like her and they're trying to get her out of office? <laughs> and use of physical threats? I don't know, because what do you need all that security for? It's hard to say, right? So this is a super interesting story. Of course, it comes out of Chicago. I mean, you've got land of Let's Go Brandon Johnson. He is literally, everything he touches right now is just turning to poop. He committed $71 million as part of a multi-agency commitment towards uh, housing the illegals in the city of Chicago. And then he pulled out because the black community is hammering on him. Hey, you said you were going to fund our underfunded communities. And instead you're giving all that money to the illegals that we could give a crap about. What are you doing? And then the other, the other more recent story is you've heard of the technology called shot spotter. It's uh, it indicates when a gunshot goes off, it records the sound and uh, alerts police, alerts the authorities, hey, you've got a possible shooting going on. It, it gives police a heads up. Whether it works or not, I'm kind of like, I don't really know. I've talked to law enforcement and they're like, yeah, we've got it on our city, but sometimes it goes off after a, you know a car backfires, that kind of thing. And we run out there and there's nothing. Sometimes it's accurate. So I would say in a city like Chicago, if you've got technology like ShotSpotter, you probably don't want to give up on it, but let's go Brandon Johnson, the genius that let's go Brandon Johnson is he publicly cut off his subscription for the city of Chicago to the shot spotter technology. But then he came back and said, but we're not going to officially end that subscription. We're not going to officially end paying for that until the democratic national convention has exited the city of Chicago. So then you're left with, okay, so you know that it's working because you don't want to give it up. You've told the company that you're not going to deal with them anymore. But then you came back and said, you know what? On second thought, I think we'll extend our membership out at least until these important, you know, Democrat <laughs> politicians come into town and come go out of town. So he doesn't know whether he is coming or going. His funding of the migrant situation. He can't work any of that out. And literally daily, he comes up with stuff that is just like, you're just left with, what? You're doing what? So is it shocking? Is it surprising that he's got, you know, a, a junior Nino Brown wannabe protege you know, within a half an hour commute of downtown Chicago that's basically just off the rails? No, it's not shocking. But this, this could happen anywhere. But the fact that it's happening here, it just kind of fits right in with the storyline, right? Whether she's guilty or not, who knows? On the outskirts, you know, from the outside, it does not look good. And when the FBI gets involved, that's when you kind of think, ah, 
This might be more than, you know, just taking some of the grocery money that was meant for that, you know, town hall meeting and, um, you know, buying some snacks for home. Little beyond that. So this will be a super interesting one. And we've had success with this topic in the past because you guys, <laughs> when you got a, when you, get, you got a rogue mayor, that's something we want to check in on, right? All right. So I'm going to end this segment. Thank you so much for being here and watching this segment. We're dropping two podcasts a day, Monday through Friday. Love to have you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next segment. Thanks again for being here. Bye for now.